Section 12.3, Surface Area of Pyramids and Cones. Before we start this, just make sure that you understand what a regular polygon is. Remember, a polygon is a two-dimensional shape. It's a plane figure. A regular polygon is going to be equi equilateral, which means congruent sides, and equiangular. which are congruent angles. Thus we could have a regular triangle, a regular quadrilateral, which is a square, a regular pentagon, and so on. Any polygon, any polygon can be a regular polygon if it's equilateral and equiangular. A pyramid is one of our new solids we're going to talk about. And a pyramid is composed of one base and lateral faces, those are our side faces, that are triangles. The triangles meet at the vertex. So looking at our drawing below, the square down here is our base. The four triangular sides are our lateral faces. And the vertex, where they meet, is up top. If I were to draw a net of this pyramid, so that 2D representation of our pyramid unfolded, I would have my square base with my th four triangular lateral faces and the top of each triangle is the point that meets up at this vertex. So all four of these blue triangles fold up to meet at the vertex creating a pyramid. The next figure we want to look at is a cone. A cone is something special. It's composed of a circular base and a lateral area. The highest point of the cone is its vertex. So we have a similar setup here. We have a base. We have the lateral area. And we have the point on the top, which is our vertex. The net for a cone looks a little odd. It looks like there we go. A circle sector with a circle attached to it. Because this blue edge here will wrap around the perimeter or the circumference of the base. And then the vertex is right here. <coughs> 